Hello, this is Benjamin John Pope and I start the tutorials off saying that I thought I'd mention the stupidity of it. This is Basics Adobe Animate Level 3. Right, basics, level three, let's get to it, um, we're going to talk about the tools to start with, so I'm going to go over each piece totally, so the arrow tool is The arrow tool allows you to select or change diameters or features. Um, you can also use it to select your options. You can also use it to select pieces of your work you can bend shapes um, the list is selecting objects and options is also isolating parts isolating parts of your vector work to either delete or change that's number two this is all the arrow tool so really if you definitely need to know this and forget it you should probably write that down. So, FN, FA, Arrow, Abilities. Right. Next is the free transform tool. Um... <coughs> I'm doing this <coughs> in a way that means that you can keep the file and just go back to it. tool and selection tool uh, I'm going to show you something else if you have a symbol and you bring up the options mine's the left button on my mouse duplicate symbol it's something you definitely need to know 
So you press it and it's going to duplicate that symbol. So abilities two in abilities two now I can delete that and that means that I can edit this change it totally because we're going to talk about the free transform tool I want to delete all of these and at the same time I've talked about duplicating a symbol but to make a symbol it's easy I'm going to say it now but I will do a little piece about it but it is modify convert to symbol which is F8 the free transform tool um, the hotkey is Q and the hotkey for the arrow tool is V While I'm doing this, I want this to be a slight advertisement for what my professional tutorials will be like according to like 50 hour or 100 hour downloads on my website. But it will give you files like this so you can just open them. You just download them and I'll say, can you check this file first? Then you have objectives with written files and um, brain mapping solutions like this. But we'll get back to this free tutorial. Free transform tool. The truth is, it's used to change the shape. the shape and its size and other abilities are also available um, if I get the free transform tool now but I'm going to make a rectangle. The free transform tool brings up lines. Um, all of them have the handle and the handle can change the sizes. You you can also choose one piece of your object and change it. Which you can choose that piece and you can also Free transform tool. You can um, change that one piece like so. Now there's a line going across. But you can also, with the free transform tool, you can also skew an object that's what it's called um i'm sure it's called screw 
no ski or something. We're gonna have to change what I've written. You can also use the ability of this dot by putting the transform handle in the middle of an of an object and pulling the mouse. Um, I've just shown you that, but just to go over it, <coughs> I've selected a rectangle. You select all of it by double clicking. You can then use the handles to make it any size. You can also use You can also use the axis point to change the size differently according to where it is placed. The axis point is the white ball. white ball or spot um, so I'll show you again free transform tool there's your axis the white dot I'm moving around put it at the top only the bottom goes down put it in the middle they both go up and down Put it at the bottom and it goes up. Put it over there. Now that's still the same, but that side isn't. So basically, you can put it in any handle. Basically, you could cast it as a lock. Um, we're going to go straight on to something different because this is like a detailed version of all basics. This is level three, and that is a lot of information to write down. If you have used those tools and do need to be reminded, but we're gonna go straight to color swatches. And color swatches <coughs> so colors colors and swatches according to the Options of options of color. I'm now going to just show you this, and what I'm going to do is at the same time. I am going to show you a way of designing like a option or whatever. So really the color tab the color tab The 
colour tab is actually in your application stage but to bring up the colour tab you go to window and press colour so colour tab to initiate no to initialize the tab go to window options and select color The colour tab over here can be used to change colours according to the fill and according to the light. So I've just selected only the fill and your swatches are already defined but you can You can save swatches. I'm just going to make that smaller. Swatches are already defined. And you can also add color. Color swatches to your swatch window. Um, this swatch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to color and I'm going to choose. No, what I'll do first is I'll select this and choose a colour that is only a colour swatch. So I've used my um, swatch creator, which is this piece here. And now I'm going to go to add the swatches. Bang. Now you select the fill and that, that one there is the one I added and when you add a swatch it will appear at the bottom line and it can grow well loads add swatch <coughs> sure enough it's there add swatch there we go. So, according to your swatch color panel, press add swatch and then save if you if you keep doing that then you can have a great amount of swatches so really Basics level 3 was made this tutorial to keep information. You should definitely, definitely write this all down. And I wanted to go through step by step 
tools that I've been using, but not totally explaining all of it. <coughs> I explained them previously. <coughs> Excuse me. But this time, <coughs> I've explained them totally. So, these tools are now explained. These notes are defined. And at the same time, you've actually got a really good, uh, a really good designed worksheet. And I'm going to put save as, it's going to be called basics, recall, and notes provided. <coughs> <coughs> Change that basics notes provided. File export, export image. Um, you could probably just do a open the video and just do a or a clip a um a zip uh I forgot what it's called um like a screen jab hold it a minute let me remember what it's called it's called a snippet that's it you can probably just make a snippet let me just put it to 75 percent put it to 65% there we go so if you made a snippet of that um, let me just make sure all of it is good you'll probably be better you'll probably be better writing out yourself but anyway thanks for listening